day two of the Red Bull X Alps and athletes have struggled with very difficult conditions. It's, looks like it's going to rain again now. Uh, I'm looking at live tracking, which is giving us up to the minute information on what's happening. Right now, it looks like there's a big split between the competitors with a big, tightly grouped bunch of competitors making their way quite strongly west now towards turn point three and a group following them way back near the turn point of Dachstein. Kaoru Ogisawa, 51 years old from Japan, surprised everyone by being the first to land closest to the Dachstein. He made his way up and was the only athlete to get to the Dachstein yesterday before the curfew of 11 o'clock. Top of Dachstein, down point two. Good. So up till now, the race has always been non-stop, but this is the first edition when there's been uh, a, an enforced rest period between 11 o'clock, 2300 hours, and four o'clock in the morning. And so this is a safety decision brought in to try and help keep the athletes safe making the right decisions in the air. Jeez. That doesn't mean they were going to have a lion though. Uh, they were all up and ready, ready to go as soon as the clock it? struck four. And whilst the race leaders were on their way down, the followers were making their way up. Of all the athletes, Tom McCockenay has probably got the most fans. I don't want to upset any of those, but he did seem to get a little bit lost given his trail over the evening and the morning. However, he ran pretty fast and managed to catch up with the race leaders. As ever, the level of planning of defending champion Christian Maurer and his supporter was pretty meticulous. Uh, they found a route up the Dachstein that no one else had considered, and it looks like his, uh, his ability to strategize will, will stand him in really good stead this year. So what lies ahead? Well, it's hard to say because it's low pressure at the moment. That means low cloud base, few showers. So it's anyone's guess really what's going to happen. It's going to be hard work getting to the Gross Glockner, but I'd be surprised if Christian Maurer and a few others didn't put in a few little flights to help them on their way.